Hi and welcome to Score Game and to another episode of Tainted Grill Conquest. Before we continue, I just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel by watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. If you also want to show your love for the series, smash that like button, leave a comment and keep watching. Okay guys, we can finally continue playing this game. I think this game has the potential to be amazing. And I was really sad I had to put it on hold. I don't know how many of you saw the comment that I pinned to part 1. But I pretty much explained why I didn't want to continue the series. I had insane micro stuttering while playing. The game was stuttering every 5 seconds or so. For like half a second. And it was going to ruin my experience for sure. And I didn't want to make a series on a game full of bugs. That's pretty much why I hate playing games on day 1. I can show you a clip that I recorded back when I first started playing the game. So you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see it stuttered really often and it was really annoying and trust me I tried to fix it but the solution wasn't on my end. From what I've read on the forums the game had other game breaking bugs as well so I decided to put the series on hold and wait for the fixes. I'm a patient man, I can wait. And to my surprise they actually fixed most of the problems really fast. I was really impressed by that. I mean I don't know about the other bugs but the stutter is completely gone. Apparently only some people with high end PCs had the stutter so it's even more impressive that they fixed it so fast. They are releasing new patches every couple of days. I don't think I've ever seen so many patches in such a short period of time. They recently released a huge patch. If you look at the patch notes, it looks like they completely changed the game. So many changes, so many buffs and nerfs all over the place. And these changes don't look like insignificant changes. Like I think they reduced or increased the mana cost for half of the cards in the game or for all cards in the game, I don't know. For some cards they triple the damage, it's ridiculous. How can you release a card, think that it's balanced and then triple its damage, what? If these changes are actually good, that means that the game was pretty unbalanced on release. I'm really glad that I waited for the first big patch at least. Not gonna lie, if I didn't have the stutter, I most likely would have continued playing. This is why I don't recommend you guys ever play games on release because the first people who buy the game, the first people who play the game are the actual game testers. Or, I don't know, but this is how it feels for most games nowadays. Go check Cyberpunk. Okay, for now at least, I just want to play games and chill on this channel, I just had to say my piece. I'm still really hyped to play this game, don't get me wrong, it looks amazing, the music is really good. Hopefully they manage to balance it out as well during this patch, so let's continue. Okay, so I need to speak to the strange man, let's do it. Where your hometown once was, a lone man sits among the remains. He doesn't notice you. Only when you walk right up to him, he turns his blank stare toward you. It's not my farmhold, is it? I'm from up north, the land of fog. I... I don't know what happened. At least that's one thing you have in common. A creature that looked like a goat told me I'd wake up in a strange place, and that I'd find someone in need of my help there. The man looks at you for a moment. I've already made some preparations and settled in one of the tents here. I can't offer you much at the moment though. This place is... different. But you? I've seen an enormous creature out there. A golem of stone. The evil energy it emits is beyond anything I've ever felt. I'd say getting rid of that beast would be a good start. Okay, we got a new quest. We need to slay the golem. Lead a stool golem. What else can we do here in town? Right now, this building is an abandoned ruin. However, during your travels, you might find someone who'd be willing to settle in here and help you with your quest. Yeah, all of these uh, buildings are empty for now, and I think we're gonna find the NPCs exploring the world. Can we not go outside? Okay. Is this the same thing? Right now, this yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, nothing we can do in town. The exit is also closed. Where is the guy we just talked to? Oh, there he is. A lost soul. Talk. Healing and upgrades. Who are you? I don't remember. And I don't know what I'm doing here. Or how I got here. All I know is I'm supposed to be helping you with your quest. 
All I know for now is that you need to find the rest of the people who are supposed to join us and help them out in their troubles. I don't know. Maybe it will come back? Maybe there's something that could trigger my memories. Oh, we got a new quest. All the lost souls. Anything else? Feeling gun upgrades. Oh, so we can buy uh, potions from this guy. Interesting. And I guess oh, we can use the wealth. Do we buy two potions? I don't think so. Has to be healed. And pick a quest card for your journey. And weird stones. Currency earned in various places. Used to buy permanent upgrades in various places. Okay. I like the sound of that. Okay, so this guy also sells quests. That's interesting. Okay, so this is the currency that is going to help us unlock permanent upgrades. And I think this is the currency we can only use for this run. The basic currency is lost after each run, yeah. It's earned in various places and is used to buy things lasting only for this run. In various places, of course. Okay, let's just leave for now. I don't think we need healing. And we can go outside through here. But why are the other exits closed? Yeah, there are four exits in total. Well, I guess we're gonna go out. Hello? Good. I caught you before you went out, all and you're lonesome. Our mutual friend already told you to slay the stone golem. Perfect. The golem is just a start, though. Even if you do manage to kill it, the further you go, the more dangerous the road will become. And since we're talking roads, you're walking within the weirdness now. And it's dangerous. Take these candles, light them up, and try not to let this damned fog close around you. Got it? Oh, and before you face the golem, look around the area. There's a blacksmith nearby who might be willing to join your village. Finding people like him will be crucial for your survival. Each one will be helpful in a different way. And with that, I'm out. Good luck. We got yet another quest. Okay, so pretty much we need to find a blacksmith. And then slay the golem. What's this? Uh, that message disappeared too fast. I think we need to use this. Weird candles. Uh, okay. Okay, now we can see burn level high. But only half of this bar uh, filled in. I guess I'm gonna use another one, why not? So we can see better. I think that's the golem maybe? Or is that the blacksmith? Do we have a map? I don't think we have a map. Oh, we do have a map. Kind of. I think this is a battle. This has to be the boss. I guess we're gonna go this way. Hello. What is this monstrosity? Deformed peasant. Poor guy. This enemy becomes stronger with every hit it suffers. Okay, so he's gonna hit for uh, 8 or 10 or 9. He has only 80 health? Wait, we just defeated a guy with 1000 health. This guy is gonna be easy. I don't want to take any damage, so I'm gonna block. And then we're gonna reduce his armor. I guess this. Again, he's only gonna do a single attack. What's this? You got a weird card. Forces of weirdness, insert them into your hand. Their effects depend on your weird candle's burn level. Use it or be ready for the consequences of not playing it this turn. Okay, let's check it out. Gain 200% damage this turn. Zero cost. Wait, what? If not played, next turn gain 50 armor. Ha! Huh, this is super OP. What? I guess this is because I used two weird candles before the fight. Well, 
I'm gonna use it for sure, and I think we're gonna kill this guy. Uh, okay, we're gonna start with this. That. And we don't even need a special. Easy. Okay, we got some wealth and we leveled up already after one fight. Pick a new card. Okay, three new cards. Inhuman uterines. One cost. Charge your ultimate ability to half of its max charges. That's pretty nutty. Uh, trap. One cost. This turn gain 50 armor and stun every enemy that hits you. So it's gonna stun the enemy for the next turn. Well, not bad. Okay. And two cost. Deal four hits for 100% damage to random enemies. I don't know if I like this one. I mean... We have this that deals three hits for 50% of damage. I guess it's better than this, to be honest. Kind of. Not really, because you want to deal as many hits as possible to trigger the passive and also to add stacks to the ultimate. So damage wise this is better, but hits wise this is better. I don't know what I want here, I think I'm gonna go with this, this is pretty insane. This is also really good, I don't know, all of them are good. I'm gonna go with this. And we also get a new passive? Holy shit. Start every combat with 10 ultimate charges. Oh. Block every second hit received in a turn. Wait, what? And first hit in combat deal 100% more damage. Okay, this is weak compared to this other two, I think. Yeah, this is really weak. First hitting combat, not on turn. This is pretty insane. But if we fight versus only one enemy, it's useless. I think I'm gonna go with this. I think that's good in every situation, right? Okay, let's move on. Okay, this... Uh is harder for sure forest sentinel this enemy redirects damage from all of its allies to itself okay so i need to kill this first and the infected human this this is a human really this enemy's shape and the pulsation of its body suggest that you should be prepared for an explosive surprise okay so he's gonna explode when we kill him Immune to stun and what's this? Enemy is preparing for special attack. Two turns cooldown. Hour of protection. Plus 10 armor. Minus 10% damage. Okay, so we need to kill both of them as fast as possible. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take this 6 8 damage. is seven then i'm gonna let's see let's see let's see i guess i'm gonna do this okay now it's vulnerable and is this gonna kill him i think oh it's not gonna kill him what oh huh. That's bad. Ah, you bastard. Okay. Can we kill this guy in one turn? What's this? Enemy intends to take everyone on the battlefield and bah. For 10? That's your special ability that you prepare for two turns. Really? Gain 50 damage this turn. If not play next turn, gain 10 armor. But it has one cost, so it's a lot weaker than the weird card we got during last fight. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna block. Maybe I should have stunned instead. 
Hmm. If I use this uh, on my current turn, is it gonna buff my hit from next turn? I guess we're gonna try it out. I don't want to trigger vulnerable this turn because we can't really use it. So let's see. Wait, what just happened? What just happened? I guess the guy just exploded for no reason. Flesh eating maggot. This enemy either attacks or buffs its armor and damage. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. One, just die. Okay, this time we didn't level up. Oh my god, where can I see my deck for journal, character panel, items, rune stones, quests, deck, discard, charge your ultimate ability to half of its max charges, so it's gonna charge it to 10 stacks max, so if I have like 5 stacks, it's not gonna turn them into 15 stacks, okay, it's not that good. It's not that good. Meh. I got debated. Hello? Seeking traveler? Is this the merchant? He's just a lost soul. Wandering between clouds of weirdness with a fading weird candle in his hand. His eyes light up when he sees you. You notice that he's not actually looking at you. He's looking at your candle. Thank gods. Mine's almost out. Do you have more? Please, if you don't help me, I'm done for. What are you looking for? I have to find them. They're somewhere. I know it. I can feel it. And I need to be there. To be by their side now. Uh, he seems crazy. I think the folk got to him. I don't really want to give him a weird candle. But I guess here you go. Thank you! I promise to make good use of it. He continues with his search. Trust increased. I guess we're gonna meet him later. He continues with his search. Well, good luck. I need to find a merchant. That has to be the merchant. What do we have here? Or oh, maybe I should use another one. Weird Candle's flame is getting weaker. And yeah, that's the merchant. And he's protected by some friends. He, this guy that explodes. Uh, abomination. Yeah, pretty much. This enemy attacks everyone on the battlefield. And deranged red priest. The enemy can create barriers to protect its allies. Okay, so I guess if we manage to kill this two, this guy is useless. Stone all enemies for two turns. What the hell is this? If not play next turn, gain 40 barrier. No, I'm gonna I need zero cost. Holy shit. I guess this guy is immune, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we can't even use this if we are past 10 stacks, as you can see. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? Yes, we play this. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now this is kind of a waste. I should have attacked the one in the middle with that attack. Well, at least I can use that. Can I use my, my special twice? No. Can I use uh, candles in battle as well? 
Apparently I can. Interesting. No, not that guy. I guess we're gonna kill this guy now. Bye bye. I mean, we can just block his attack, it's pathetic. But it says he also buffs. Where's the buff? Well, I guess he buffs his uh, base attack. Oh, I got another one. Reduce damage of all enemies by 75% this turn. If not play next turn, reduce the cost of one random card by two. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Why not have a block? Okay, apparently I don't have a block. But I think we just kill him, right? Yeah. Why am I even looking for a block? Okay, we leveled up again. Gain 40 armor for two turns. Upgrade. What's upgrade? Upgrade cards that grow permanently more powerful when used under certain conditions. Okay. If used when under 25% of max HP, increase the card's duration by one turn. Yeah, I don't really want to be under 25% of my max HP. Ah, decent. Nah, mm, I don't really like it. Draw one card, it costs zero energy this turn. Well, most of my cards are one energy. Except this, I guess. So not really that useful and quick attack deal one hit for 100% damage and draw a card uh these cards are pretty bad i can also skip if i want but i think we're just gonna go with a quick attack should i go with this maybe it's gonna be good later i mean it's decent even now it's like whatever it's there I guess we're gonna take it. And I don't get another passive. Okay. A song breaks through the slithering of the weirdness. I have no hope, no home, no gold. Mine is spot misty morn and cold. Not long afterwards, you come upon a man wearing a blacksmith's apron. Oi, traveler. Wanna buy a good anvil? Tis all I have, I'm afraid. Me home, you see, went poof. One minute there, next minute gone. I found myself here, with this lump of iron for company. I swear to gods it started talking to me not long ago. So what do you do? Craft weapons and armor? Oh, no. I left that life behind quite a while ago. All I'm interested in these days are rune stones. Oh, rune stones? I already know all I need to know about them. Yes, containers for the magic of giants. Even though you'll usually find them broken, they're extremely powerful. You can use them to enhance your weapons or armor. They will influence your abilities in different ways. Also, when you find three of the same kind and rarity, You'll be able to fuse them together. This will make them even more powerful. Here, let me give you some. You can try it later. I'd say that since you know what you're looking for, you should be able to find more of them out there. By the way... By the way, what? What else can you do with these rune stones? I could use someone like you in my village. Okay, shop. Add one common runestone to the shop. Okay, we can buy runestones from this guy for wealth. Okay, let's check them out. Quality level 1, rarity common. In weapon slot, reduce armor of all enemies by 10. And in armor slot, increase max HP by 30. Pretty good, right? 30 HP for now at least, it's a lot. Uh, this one. In weapon slot, in the first turn of combat, increase your damage by 50%. And in armor, in the first turn of combat, gain 75 armor. 
Uh, why does it see one here? I think it's because we own one run of this type. I think he gave us two runs, right? In weapon slot, in the first turn of combat, draw one additional card with cost reduced by one. Not bad. An armor slot, heal for 5 HP every combat one. Well, it's good, but only 5 HP. Meh. The weapon slot is better. And this one, each card played increases your damage by 5% this turn. Mm. Trash. And in armor slot, increase armor by 10. Exchange. A lock exchanging runestone. Runestone dust. Every time you merge runestones, you earn some runestone dust. Currency used to buy permanent upgrades in the blacksmith shop. Okay. Upgrade. Armor slots, weapon slots, item slots, but we don't have any dust, so can't really do anything right now. Transmute two of your own runestones into one of the similar. Okay, we can combine them here, but we can't do it until we unlock it. Okay, we can do a lot of things with this blacksmith guy. You want me in your village? Well. You must first prove you can take care of yourself. Kill ten bears and... Ha, huh, just fooling for pity's sake. What would I need ten bears for? Show me the way. Yeah, it was like, uh, yeah, just sit here in the wilderness. If you don't want to come to my village. Blacksmith available. Villagers completed. Nice. Combat encounters will now drop runestones. When equipped, they increase your abilities or stats. Can we equip it? Runestone. I guess we have two slots available. Increase damage by two in weapon. And at the start of turn, deal one hit for five damage to all enemies. Um, hmm. Actually, I don't know. Both of them are... I think the second one is better because... One hit helps me build up my passive. In this, in the first turn of combat, draw an additional card with cost reduced by one. Or oh, it's the same rune we saw in the shop. Hmm. I guess this is uh, gonna go here, and this is gonna go here. Pretty good. Not bad. I don't think we can do anything else. Oh, there are 8 currencies in this game, and we only unlocked 3 of them so far. Holy shit. This is going to be the end for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Ask me anything you want in the comments, I reply to every single comment. Subscribe and hit the bell for more Tainted Grail Conquest, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.